Okay, welcome back to Danny Harris Arts. Uh, today I'm going to be starting the Rainbow Trout, and I'm really excited about this one in that um, I'm doing this in a classroom setting um, that I'm doing online. And uh, the instructor, his name is Josh Googie, and Josh is a world class fish carver and bird carver, and he's won several uh, multiple world titles in both fish and birds. And I met Josh last year at the World Taxidermy and Fish Carving Championship. Uh, he was one of the judges. So um, I entered the novice division, and the novice division doesn't pay out anything, but I did manage to win um, best in show for a largemouth bass in first place, and then I won second place for a crappie that I entered. And um, But Josh was good enough towards the end of the week since the guys in the novice division didn't win any cash. Um, he was good enough to give us a certificate to uh, one of his online courses or one of his classroom courses. And um, so I asked him if he was going to be doing any fish and he said yes, he was going to be doing a rainbow trout which uh, later in the summer, which is now. So um, I signed on to do that. So I'm doing that now and I'm taking, I've taken the first day already. Uh, he's already done the first day and I've already watched through all those videos. Um, some of the guys are doing it as it goes so he's doing it in segments and uh but i'm like i say i'm a day behind on it but i'm getting started today uh, but josh has also agreed to at some point um i'm going to send him photos of, of the work i'm doing and he's agreed to critique them online for me on, on video and i'm going to add those videos in later throughout the video here um i don't know if i'll do uh I may just do two, I may do one halfway through, like when I get the blank finished and the fins and everything on. And then I may do one after uh, the final one, after the painting is done. Uh, but anyway, I'm excited to get this going and I uh, appreciate y'all watching. I'm gonna put Josh's uh, bio and contact information in the in the link below. And uh, so check him out. Um, and if you're interested in taking one of his classes, you can, you can contact him. Uh, it's, he does a great job on it and very, very easy to follow along. Um, so I'm going to get started on this one. <laughs> so what I've got here, and this is a pattern that Josh drew. He sent this to me, um, or he sent it in a digital form. And I drew it out, or I printed it out and cut it out. So I've already got it all cut out here. Um, so... The classroom um, carving is 12 inches, but I've decided to do this one a little bit bigger. Uh, this one's gonna be 18 inches. And um, after working on that little hummingbird, <laughs> I needed something I could hang on to. But as you can see, I've already got the blank cut out um, and I'm gonna start roughing that out here in just a second. And, um, but let me get everything together here. I've got the blank, looks like I got the blank cut out and I've got the fins already cut out. And um, so the pelvic fins, the pectoral fins, and the dorsal, or actually this is the dorsal and this is the anal fin. Uh, so I'm going to get turned around here and get started. Okay, so what I've done is I've got the, like I said, I've got the blank cut out and I've got, I kind of trimmed it a little bit. To, uh, so I don't have so much to carve off. That's what he's done in the class. And uh, we'll have the tail on. I'm leaving the tail on, um, which I'm glad he done that because that's how I've been doing mine lately. It's, it's much easier. To me, the fit and finish of doing the tail separate and mounting it to the caudal peduncle area was the hardest uh, for me. So I've just been leaving the tail on and it's been working out pretty good for me. So I'm gonna get started here and I'm gonna be using this um, extra coarse cuts all bit and then I've got a finer one here that uh, once I get it roughed out then I'll switch over to this finer one and, um, and start uh, refining it down. So I'm gonna start on this side
All right, I'm trying to work on the symmetry of it. They're just a little bit wider at the bottom than they are at the top. So um, I'm gonna switch over to this uh, finer bit now. And I like these cut saw bits. Um, I think Josh was using Typhoon, uh, but this is what I have, but I, I, I like them, so um, they work just as well, I guess. So I'm cheating just a little bit. Not really cheating, but I'm taking the uh, all the tool marks out with the uh, with this padded sander, and then I'm going to go over it with my hand and and smooth it out really really well. I'm just redrawing my center line here. I did some sanding, rough sanding, and I just want to make sure I keep my center line on here. the center line on the tail first 
and I start in the middle, and then I'm going to end up utilizing the width of this wood to get more curve into it. So I come all the way to the edge on the corner. And then on the bottom, I'm going to draw an S curve, again, that utilizes the width of the wood. So a common mistake people make all the time when they carve fish. They start carving this down, and then they carve this side, and before you know it, it just becomes a straight line. Okay? It just slowly gets thinner and thinner and thinner as it goes into that fit, okay? People always make this big drop off. Um, then they'll exaggerate that too much. But this should just blend right into that tail. So when I look at the fish from the top, the thickness should slowly get thinner and thinner and thinner as it comes out here. I'm doing, I'm going to do this layout. 
You can disregard this on the cast. The reason I did this on the cast is just so I could have it totally attached to a rock that would hold them up for a base. But this isn't very realistic. They would never go and put their fins like that on a rock. So it's more of the sake of the cast. So don't emulate that. So in order to do this on the side fins, I'm going to... Okay, so I was um, kind of listening to him in the class there as he's doing these fans, which was yesterday, uh, but I'm watching it back today. Um, but this, I mean, it's close to how I would have done it. I'm, I always leave these together just so it's easier to, to hold as you're carving the ends, which he talks about that. That's how he was doing his. So, uh, which I've always done that. And... Uh, but he's he's laying it out just a little bit different than I than I normally did. But I like the way he's doing it, so it seems like it's going to be easier. Also, um, in the past, just by following along um, and, and taking off a lot of the wood beforehand with the bandsaw, and just you know following along with him as I'm doing it, I'll go back and watch you know get a little pointer here and there. I finished this piece here in about 10 hours. Um, in the past, it would have taken me a good 15 or 20 hours to get to this point. So, I, you know, I think part of it is because I've done so many, or, you know, I've done enough that I'm getting a little more proficient at it. But the other part is listening to Josh in the class and, and taking his advice and doing what he's doing on there um i think it made it go a lot lot quicker i probably could have done this in in maybe six hours um but i took my time on sanding and and getting it down where it needed to be so um but anyway i'm gonna start grinding carving these down Just drawing in the line where the tab will be. So this bottom part here will be the tab that goes into the fish. So that's making it about maybe three millimeters wide down the middle and then it, I found that an easy way to remove this is to burn it first so this is
Okay, the way I used to do these was I would use this little bit here and I would hold it and cut it down to the depth of the shank. And the way Josh is teaching, I'm using a thicker or a thinner tab. Um, the tab was also the width of this bit. So the tab is a little thinner. So I'm gonna use this um, diamond bit to dig the hole out with, or to make the hole. And he suggested burning it first and that gives the bit something to follow. So let's see what happens here. It's pretty close. Uh, a little deeper here, see what happens. That's pretty good. This will be the show side. So I'm pretty sure I can blend that with epoxy, epoxy putty. Okay, that's gonna be it for part one of the rainbow trout word carving project. Like I said at the first of the video, I am doing an online course that's being taught by Josh Googie, and I'll leave his contact info in the comment section below, so y'all go check him out. Uh, part two's coming up. We'll be doing scales and fins. I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave for me in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel and you haven't, I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing. So I will see y'all on part two.